Hey there, my name is Marquis, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to use the rules feature inside of Asana. Think of rules as automations. If you find that you're doing the same things over and over again, moving cards from place to place, clicking on actions, and you're thinking to yourself, is there an easier way to do this? Then this video is the answer to that. And the answer is yes, there definitely is. And so what I'm going to do, I'm going to boot up a quick project here um, just so we can build out something really quickly and I can show you how to get started using rules. So within Asana, I'm just going to go over to um, my plus sign here. I'm going to create a blank project and we're going to create one that just says, uh, what are we going to call this? Rules demo. And we're going to create a board um, just to make this really simple. And we go in and create project. So we've already got, you know, to do in progress done. I'm going to add another one. We're going to call it backlog. There it is. And then we're going to just going to move it over to there. And so um, this really works that if you have a bunch of tasks and, you know, you are, you know, listing them out and uh, maybe this is task two, task three, you had a meeting and you're getting all your ideas together and you just have a backlog of tasks. You just want to get them out. There we go. Task four. So I'm just going to work with these four tasks for now and maybe you'll go in and you'll put in info here. You'll upload all your content and media um, and then we will add some subtasks like so. Did I spell that right? Nope. Subtasks. There we go. Maybe we have some comments here, right? So it's just a typical working project. And so this one is all done. We, we want to move it over to done that signifies that it's done great right and so this view is really great because it lets everyone on the team know exactly where we're at but then we have to go over here maybe we have to complete this right and so it's really simple when there is one like four tasks here but if you have you know you know 50 plus tasks 100 tasks and you're going really quickly and your team's moving really quickly sometimes it's just easier to just click over and you you know, don't need to have to, you know, move it over there, right? We're working in really just agile workspaces where you want things to be done quickly and efficiently. And that's where rules comes in. So I'm just going to move these back over here for a minute. Uh, I'm going to uncomplete that. And so on the top right here, you can see rules. And so let's go. So there's already some predetermined ones that work, you know, um, these are some recommended. So this is a task added to this project. Um, add collaborators. So when a task is added, it will add certain people to it. Um, task mark complete, move task to a certain section. So we're going to start with that one because it's simplest. You can create custom ones where it's literally drag and drop, but for this, we're just going to go with what they've recommended for us. So you click on that, you know, when a task is moved, uh, marked complete, where do we want it to go, right? And so as long as we have a section created, we can, you know, um, assign these really quickly. So when a task is completed, we want it to move um, to the done section. So there it is. So now I'm just going to test it out. We're going to click on that and you're going to see down here the little automation runs. Great. And then it moves over there. Perfect. So that's one part of it. The next part of it, and I'm going to build a custom one for us. As we go back in, we can see our list of rules. We can edit it if we want to. But if we add another rule, I'm going to go create custom and the trigger is going to be, um, you know, a task is moved to a certain section. There it goes. So when a task is moved to done, what do we want to happen, right? We have to click an action. And in this place, we're going to, you know, make it mark complete. And so there, that is our rule. So now we have two rules. One where a, com uh, a task is completed and moved to the done section and one where the task is marked complete and then you know, marked done as well. So in this case, I'm going to move this over here. There we go. That rule is running and then I'm going to click complete like so. And then it's also going to move it over to this section. So you can work really quickly. If someone on your team prefers the little check mark, they like that. You can see the unicorns flying across the screen or you like, or people are moving um, the cards around. Um, this just makes it super simple. So no one has to think about anything, but just think of all the different uses, right? And so if we have tasks that are in our to do, right? The second that it's moved to in progress, it is assigned to the person that moved it and collaborators are added. There are so many different things that you can do and it's all made possible by this little button up here. Um, so that is it. So rules are automations. Think of them like that. So if you were doing the same kinds of things over and over again and you know, just just know that there's a, uh, an easier way to do it. And so if you like this video, if you found it helpful, 
please like this video, subscribe to the channel. And again, if you think this video will be beneficial to a colleague or a teammate, uh, please just share that video with them. But thanks for watching and I uh, will talk to you soon. Bye for now.